Hi, my name is Joshua Schneier and I'm the product manager for notifications here at Salesforce. And I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite features, which is Notification Builder. It allows you to send custom notifications to both Lightning Desktop and your mobile apps for relevant events that occur in your org. It's pretty straightforward, but I wanted to show you some of the cool things that you can do that might not be so obvious. First, did you know that you can send notifications to multiple recipients? We support account and opportunity teams, public groups, and even queues. That last one is pretty interesting because I know a lot of folks are excited about the ability to assign tasks to queues. So let's take a look at how we can create a custom notification that will alert all those queue members when a new task is created. Now I've got a simple process here set up to just execute, which we'll use to show notifying a queue. Now of course you can also send a custom notification from Flow or our REST API if your notification worthy event is happening somewhere outside your org. But let's take a look at setting up our action here. I want to give this a name. And select the notification type, which handles the routing of the notification. Here we're going to select the recipient. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we can see account and opportunity team, public groups, but we're really interested in queue. So let's select that. And we have a couple options here. You can select the queue field from a record, which we'll want to do here because we want the queue associated with this task. Or you could select a specific queue that you would use every time. But let's change, uh, stay with this relative queue. So we'll click Find. And here we'll connect the dots, and this should be pretty familiar for anyone who's used merge fields or even formulas. We'll select Assigned to ID, so that's the field on our task that's pointing to the queue. And we'll select Queue ID. Next, we need to put some content in the notification. So in the notification title, let's add a message. New task for, and let's call out the queue name. So when folks see this come in, they will know what it's about. We'll go to the queue, again, assign to ID again. And instead of selecting the queue ID, we're going to take the name of the queue. And now for the notification body, let's go ahead and put the subject of the task for a little bit more detail. Now our notification is ready to go. We'll go ahead and save this. And the next time a task is created and assigned to a queue, this notification is going to fire and let everybody know. Next, did you know? that you can control which mobile apps receive your notifications, or even turn off standard notification types to replace with your own? Let's take a look. So here we can come into Setup and scroll down to Notification Builder, and we can click on Notification Delivery Settings. Here we're going to see the routing and delivery settings for standard notification types like approvals or chatter but also the custom notification types you may have created. And for each of these, if we click Edit, we can choose whether or not we want to send them as desktop or mobile. We can turn those channels on and off. And for mobile applications, we can choose which specific apps we want to send them to. Now these include Salesforce built apps like the Salesforce mobile app or Publisher. But starting in summer 20, it also includes any custom apps that you may build using our mobile SDK. Now, in this example, maybe we're not completely happy with the approval request notification type that we get out of the box. We can simply turn off both desktop and mobile channels. We'll save that. And this notification type will effectively be silenced. We can then go into process or flow and create our own notification for approvals that's more suited to our needs. So we do have a lot of good control on how we can route these notifications. So next up, did you know that users can control which push notifications they receive directly from the Salesforce mobile app? Let's take a look. So let's come into the Salesforce mobile app, and we'll tap on Menu. Then we could tap on our user avatar. Here we'll see an option for Settings. 
then we can tap on push notification settings. This screen will show us all the notification types, both standard and custom, that have been configured in your org. And our users can toggle those on and off as they please. So we want to make sure we build great notifications for our users, but just in case anyone complains they don't want to see one or it's a little too noisy, you don't have to turn it off for everyone. You can give your users guidance on how they can leverage these personalized settings directly within the Salesforce model. So now you know a little bit more about how to use Notification Builder. I hope you enjoyed watching because I definitely enjoyed sharing it. Thanks, admins.